Aloha, welcome to HawaiiLiveTweets.com. Today we're going to talk about SEO and anchor text. What are they? How do we use them? And some quick little tips. Okay, so let's go over here and I'll let my computer do the talking for us. This is actually Wikipedia straight from, I guess, the encyclopedia for the net and it says this is what an anchor text is so let's hear what it says anchor text usually gives the user relevant descriptive or contextual information about the content of the link's destination the anchor text may or may not be related to the actual text of the url of the link for example a hyperlink to the english language wikipedia's homepage might take this form a href http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash main underscore page wikipedia a the anchor text in this example is wikipedia the unwieldy url http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash main underscore page displays on the web page as wikipedia contributing to clean easy to read text okay oh, so what does this mean basically um, any anchor text that you use, it's basically just a link and I'm going to tell you what's important or how we should use these things. So if you guys don't know how to use it, I'm going to switch over to here to my WordPress blog and I'm going to create a post. You notice that I have two tabs here. I have the HTML version and I have the visual one, which is actually what you see is what you get. So I'm going to go to HTML and I'm going to actually type in the code for an anchor text code. And you see this right here? I'm actually going to put this in the description on the blog so look down on below and you guys can copy and paste and it's pretty easy to use all you have to do is in these little brackets here this is where you put the code to so wherever you want to put it so actually or where you want to link it to your text so I'm going to type in Brady Oshiro which is my website dot com and I'm going to type in anchor text here okay like that and then let's change it over to the visual one and see what it looks like so when I post this thing you notice that it says anchor text text here <laughs> little typo there but basically when I click on this link it's actually gonna take me to bradyoshiro.com and this is actually a perfect example of how you don't want to use an anchor text the reason for this is the search en engines when they look for um, links or they call them these anchor text links they want to make sure that it's all everything is all relevant right it's like anything else when you do a search you don't want to type look for one thing and then you find another thing right so same thing with links and anchor text if I'm looking for something with uh, dealing with my website bradyoshow.com and because I am a photographer I probably want to link this text to something to do with photography so I should change this right here this text here I'm just gonna say wedding photography yeah like that so when they actually see it on a page right it says actually wedding photography so what's gonna happen is when the search engine finds this page or this post there when it says wedding photography they're gonna show us associate wedding photography with guess what that's right my website bradyoshiro.com so that's the importance of creating an anchor text and how you should use it so if you wanna um, yes perfect example of how people do it is they put something like click here or you know like follow this link or whatever but basically if you wanna optimize your web page for click here which I don't think most people want to but that's how most people use these links so it's a good idea next time you create one of these links that you may keep in mind what you're trying to link to and what you want to associate that link with so in my case I have my website radioshow.com and I'm gonna make sure that it's associated with wedding photography right so when they see it on the web and a search engine finds it it's gonna say wedding photography they click on it and it goes to my page so hopefully that helps if you have more questions you can look for us on the web on askbrady.com or follow us on Twitter at followbrady.com or also find us on our Facebook page at facebookfan.us so thanks for watching hopefully this helps you out and happy shooting aloha